Hello guys and welcome back to the third part of the series of me building an affiliate website using Python, Django and maybe React stack. In the previous video, I set up a Git environment for my Django project and today I would love to create a placeholder homepage and if I have enough time, maybe put the whole Django website to a web hosting. So let's get into it. As the first step, I will go into my Django folder and I will start a virtual environment. There I will create a completely new Django application under my Django project with the command Django slash admin startup homepage. We can then verify that the new application was created by looking at the folder 10x. This is the name of the project folder. And here I see a new folder homepage. And in this folder, we will find all necessary Django files that the application needs, such as views, models, apps, admin, and in it. Next, I have to tell Django that there's a new application and I will do that by adding it into the list of installed applications. So let's go into 10x folder, the 10x application, and here you will see the settings.py. So I will load that into Visual Studio Code and here I will find the part when uh, there's a list of uh, installed applications, installed apps, and I will add my new application. So every time you create a new application, you have to add a new application into this array. And since we have the settings.py opened, there are a few things that I have to include in order to create a brand new homepage. One of those things is that we need to tell Django where are the HTML files, aka templates, located. So I will go to the template settings and here you will see one of the parameters is the there's the directories so i will input a new value os.path.join base their templates and what it does is that it will locate the template folders on my macbook and because i get the error that i have an undefined variable os let's import the os library into the settings.py the first parameter in this join function is the location of base directory base directory is a variable that is defined in the top of the settings file here you see that uh, the variable base directory is basically a path to the django project it will build path inside the projects so for example if my django project is located at 10x then uh, the base directory will be located there Okay, now we should create a template directory. So let's go into the Django application folder and create a new folder and we call it templates. There we will store all the boilerplate templates that can uh, be shared among all the Django applications. Next, we want to make sure that whenever someone visits the URL with our homepage, he will be redirected to our homepage template. And this logic is defined in the views. So let's create a homepage view. I will go to the homepage folder and there I will open the views.py. Here I will create a new view called index that will take every HTTP request from the browser and will render my homepage HTML file. Then I have to tell Django that uh, when someone visits URL, it should show the visitor the homepage. To define the URLs for our homepage views, I will create a new URLs file. In this new file, I will import the django.urls path. Then I will import all the views from the homepage application. And lastly, I will set a URL for our homepage view. So the pattern for URLs is very simple. So when someone visits my homepage, for example, localhost.com, it will call the views.index, but that's not all. We have to add this new urls.py into the project level urls.py. So I will open the urls.py located inside 10x folder, and there I will include all urls from the newly created homepage urls.py. And of course, I have to include the include function as well. 
As the next step, we'll create a homepage HTML file. So let's create a template folder inside homepage directory. And inside the templates folder, create another folder called homepage. Don't ask me why it's this nested. It's just how Django works. It looks for every template folder inside your project folder. And when it's found in this folder, it needs to identify which application template folder is tied to. So in the homepage folder, we will create a homepage HTML file. In this file, we will tell Django that the HTML file will inherit every HTML structure that is defined in base.html, which we will create later. Next, the content of homepage.html will be included in the block content. So everything you put inside the block content will be displayed on your homepage. So for now, I will just type in homepage. Now we are ready to create a base.html file that will hold all HTML structure. So in the folder, we'll create new file base.html. And in base.html file, I will add really, really simple HTML structure. As you can see, I included only basic HTML elements. So your homepage can be displayed by the browser. I will just tidy up a little bit so it is more structured. The most important part here is that we use the Jinja 2 template stack load statics that tells Django to load any static files that uh, are stored in static folder. Static files are images, JavaScript files, CSS files, and just anything that is not HTML and is not Pythonic. And the second most important part of this template is uh, block content. And inside this uh, block content, everything that is defined inside sub-templates such as uh, homepage.html will be displayed. So if inside homepage.html, I typed in homepage inside the block contents, I should see the text homepage when I fire up the browser and go to my homepage. I just realized I forgot a few things in the views.py of our homepage application. I forgot to include HTTP response and I forgot uh, to tell Django that actually my homepage.html is saved under homepage folder because we actually created a folder structure where our homepage HTML is inside homepage folder and homepage folder is inside template folder. So right now, if I try to run the command python manage.py run server. I hope that the Django will fire up and I will see my beautiful homepage. Okay, Django development server started at this URL, so let's visit it in the Safari. And here, unfortunately, I got the error template does not exist. And this is because I made a mistake of uh, adding a slash in front of the homepage folder. It seems like base directory we define in settings.py is not correct. And actually what we should do is to import os.path in settings.py. And instead of using default settings for locating the base directory for our templates, what it does is that it locates the absolute path to Django project inside our operating system. Now, if I fire the server again, it should work. So base directory for database SQLite 3 has a type error unsupported operand type. So let's look at this issue. So the database are defined in database variable. And here we see that it tries to locate a database file by joining base directory slash db.sqlite3. So instead, I will use code to locate exact location of the file in our operating system. And now if I look at the terminal again and start the run server, it's without error. Finally, then let's look at the our homepage and it's blank. Okay, I will look at the inspection and I will see that the body is totally blank. I don't see the text homepage that I define in homepage.html. 
which is weird. I think I figure out that I have to go into settings.py and add site ID equals to one. We have to add these settings after adding Django contribute.sites to installed apps. And now when I refresh the server and go to the browser and refresh the page, I see the home page text that I define in the homepage.html. And when I inspect the HTML structure, I will see that the code that I define in the base.html is there as well. So guys, I think that's all for today. And in the next video, we will look into how to run a Django project with Unicorn and Engines. So see you next time.